Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to explore the DevOps Developer Roadmap for 2026. This roadmap will help you understand exactly what skills matter, what tools you should learn, and how to build a strong foundation to become an industry-ready DevOps engineer. DevOps is not a single tool or a single role. It's a combination of software engineering, automation, cloud, security, and operational excellence. So in this roadmap, we will move step by step through each domain. Let's begin with programming languages. Every DevOps developer should know at least one programming language. This isn't because DevOps engineers write complex applications, but because you need programming skills to automate processes, build internal tools, and understand how applications behave. You start by learning Bash because it's the heart of scripting on Linux systems. Then you move to Python, which is the most popular DevOps language in the world for automation, cloud SDKs, infrastructure tooling, and backend scripting. You may also explore Go, which is optional but highly valued in modern tooling like Kubernetes, Terraform, and Docker. And for those working in Java heavy environments, Java can be optional too. But for beginners, Bash and Python are enough to get started. Next, operating systems. A DevOps career starts with mastering operating systems, especially Linux. Linux powers servers, containers, cloud infrastructure, and production systems. You learn how to navigate the file system, manage processes, edit configurations, and troubleshoot issues using Linux commands. Windows knowledge is optional, but helpful in enterprises. macOS is commonly used by developers locally, so understanding basic Unix commands is useful. But the essential foundation is Linux. Next comes version control. Every DevOps engineer must be comfortable with Git because Git is used everywhere. You learn how to commit, branch, merge, and resolve conflicts. You also explore GitHub and GitLab because these platforms host repositories and offer integrated CI slash CD pipelines. Bitbucket is optional but used by many companies. Version control is non-negotiable. It's one of the most essential skills for beginners. Next, networking. Networking is the backbone of modern infrastructure. You learn DNS because domain names resolve to services. You learn IP addressing to understand how machines communicate. You explore TCP and UDP so you know how data flows between systems. You also understand HTTP and HTTPS, load balancers and reverse proxies. These concepts help you debug APIs, configure clusters, manage container networking, and optimize cloud deployments. Networking knowledge separates good DevOps engineers from great ones. Next, scripting and automation. Well, you develop strong automation skills. You write bash scripts to automate server tasks and deployments. You use Python automation for more complex logic. PowerShell is useful if your team works with Windows systems. You learn how to schedule tasks, manage processes, and write scripts that integrate with cloud and CI slash CD pipelines. You explore YAML because it's the configuration language used in Kubernetes, GitHub Actions, GitLab CI, Terraform modules, and many cloud services. You also learn basic monitoring tools to automate log checks, health checks, and performance scripts. Automation is the heart of DevOps. Now we move into the most important pillar of DevOps, CI slash CD. Continuous integration and continuous delivery are the engines that automate software builds, testing, and deployment. You start with GitHub Actions, one of the most popular CI slash CD tools today. Then you explore GitLab CI slash CD, which integrates deeply with GitLab repositories. You learn Jenkins, still widely used in enterprises for pipeline automation. You also discover Argo CD for Kubernetes native deployments. AWS Code Pipeline and Circle CI are optional but good additions. For beginners, GitHub Actions and Jenkins are the two most essential tools. Next, containers and orchestration. These are most important skills for DevOps engineers, containers. 
Docker is your starting point. You'll learn how to build images, write Docker files, run containers and manage multi-container applications with Docker Compose. Then you move to Kubernetes. This is the industry standard for orchestration. You'll learn how pods, deployments, services and ingress controllers work. You understand auto scaling, health checks and cluster management. Helm becomes your package manager for Kubernetes, making deployments reusable and scalable. You also work with container registries such as eACR, GCR and Docker Hub. Containers and Kubernetes are among the most in-demand DevOps skills in 2026. Next, hosting and cloud platforms. You learn how to run applications in the cloud. You start with AWS because it is the market leader and offers the richest DevOps tools. You then explore Azure and Google Cloud which are widely adopted in enterprise and data-driven environments. You learn DigitalOcean for simple deployments and cost-effective setups. Cloud knowledge is absolutely essential for modern DevOps roles. Infrastructure as code is how DevOps teams manage servers, networks and cloud infrastructure through automation. You learn Terraform, the most popular IIC tool in the world. You use Terraform to provision servers, networks, Kubernetes clusters and cloud resources. Then you explore Ansible, which automates configuration management. You learn tools like Parker for building server images. Crossplane helps you manage Kubernetes native infrastructure. Cloud formation is useful if you work heavily with AWS. IIC makes you a highly efficient and scalable engineer. Next, monitoring and logging. After infrastructure comes observability. You learn Prometheus to collect system metrics. You use Grapana to visualize dashboards. You work with Loki for log aggregation. You explore ELK stack, Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana because they are the industry standard for centralized logging. Fluentry helps root logs efficiently across clusters. Monitoring ensures your applications remain healthy, stable and secure in production. Security is now an essential part of DevOps. You learn how to perform vulnerability scanning using tools like Trivy or Snyke. You understand secrets management through Vault or AWS Secrets Manager. IAM basics help you manage permissions and user access. You study OWASP security practices to protect applications from common vulnerabilities and you understand container security to keep Docker and Kubernetes environments safe. A DevOps engineer who knows security becomes extremely valuable. Next, basic software development principles. Even though DevOps is not full application development, you must understand foundational software concepts. You learn versioning, API behaviors and how software is built and tested. You understand how data is managed and how system components integrate. You also explore software design principles which help you write better automation code and infrastructure modules. These fundamentals make troubleshooting easier and improve your ability to collaborate with developers. Finally, DevOps is all about collaboration. You learn how Agile and Scrum workflows operate. You work closely with developers, testers, cloud engineers and product teams. A strong DevOps engineer communicates well, documents processes clearly and works effectively across departments to ensure software is delivered reliably and continuously. And that completes the DevOps roadmap for 2026. You begin with programming and operating systems. You become confident with version control, networking and scripting. You master CI slash CD, containers, Kubernetes and cloud platforms. You explore infrastructure as code, monitoring, security and the fundamentals of software development. You build collaboration skills that make you a complete DevOps professional. If you follow this roadmap step by step, you will become an in-demand DevOps engineer ready to work in cloud native modern software teams. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.